This video is from my few friends and subscribers with VG30 series engines. Today we're going to reroute the coolant to avoid the throttle body in the upper intake manifold. Of course doing so keeps the air cooler in the intake and throttle body and uh, the manifold. Essentially to do this bypass it's very simple. We're looking at the back of the engine. You want to take this lower intake line right here that went into the upper manifold and you want to loop it around and go into the return line for the heater core over here. This of course deletes the two hard lines that went around the back side of the engine and it removes the coolant flow from the intake manifold and the throttle body which lowers charge temperatures which means more horsepower. Well I have about a thousand projects going on at the moment so excuse this mess. I went ahead and looped the lines, put hose clamps on both sides in there, you can see them, and uh, zip tie to this rear heater hose to uh, keep it out of the way, and as you can see, it doesn't have a kink. It's about a 12 to 14 inch line, it's 3 8 you want to make sure you get something that's coolant rated, and the 3 8 fits a little tight on this back fitting here, so what I did was I heated it up with a propane torch, and a big ass pair of pliers comes in handy. This hose clamp you just point it out to the back here so that you can tighten it. And this one in the lower intake manifold on the passenger side right here. I have it positioned up. Either way you do it there's really no easy way to get to it. I ended up trying to use a long extension and coming through here. Didn't work so well, so what I did was I bent one of my really nice screwdrivers and stuck it down through there and tightened it. So, as you can see, it's pretty tight. It's going to allow the coolant to flow, no issues, shouldn't leak at all. Stays out of the way of the upper manifold, stays out of the way of the valve covers. And that is a reroute on a Z31 VG30 or Maxima VG30.